Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me. My name is Luke Maney, and I am the Industry Development Manager at DotLoop. And I'm very excited for the opportunity to give you a quick overview of all that DotLoop has to offer California real estate professionals. DotLoop empowers agents, brokers, and teams to fill out, manage, and e-sign documents all from one platform. So let's dive right in. We're going to start right from the beginning. I'm going to show you how you can create your DotLoop account attached to the California Association of Realtors so that you have access to the forms library and actually create a transaction. So to get started, you're simply going to go to dotloop.com and click sign up and simply enter your name, email address, and state. Uh, once you do that, you'll be taken straight into your old agent homepage, which is what you see on my screen. Um, before we dive into a transaction, the most important thing I wanna emphasize is that it's how to attach to your association so that you have access to the California Association forms. So once you create your account and are in your agent homepage, you're going to click on the icon in the upper right-hand corner, which will have your initials, go into my account, profiles, and then scroll down and click add association. When you click add association, you're going to type in California Association of Realtors, and you'll see it appear right here with the green check mark. Once you select that, it'll prompt you to put in your NRDS ID. And as soon as you do so, you'll automatically have access to the full California Association of Realtors forms library straight from your DotLoop account. All right, so that's the first step. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my agent homepage. So now that we've gone into our account and attached the forms, we're going to create a new transaction. So if you're working with a new buyer, maybe you have a new listing. If you wanna add a new loop, you're simply going to click on the plus sign here to start a new transaction. I've actually already created one that we can go through for demonstration purposes. So 123 Main Street, this is a listing that I have. So when I go into my loop, you'll see I have the loop name across the top. Now a, a loop is just a place that connects people and documents. So in my loop, uh, once I create my listing, the first thing that I need to do is go into my details page and fill out all of the important information about the transaction. Anything I put into my details page will populate my forms for me so that I don't have to manually fill out the same thing over and over again on multiple forms. So you'll notice this is a listing, right? It's an active listing. I've given myself the role of listing agent and I've added in my seller here. And you'll also notice that my broker, my company is automatically added as well. This will allow me to actually submit my transaction to them for compliance once it's completed. Right, I put in the property address for all of the important information. Once you've done that, now we're ready to bring in our documents. Right, so under my documents section here, I have the option to bring in forms from three different places. So as an agent in California, I know that all of my forms are available to me in my templates section. So I'm going to add from templates. When I do that, it asks which forms I wanna bring into my loop. So on the left-hand side, these are all of the different California Association Realtor packets that have been set up for me, right? And I have my master list here. So uh, if I wanted to search for documents, I could click on the full library and type in. I've actually put together a little packet with a couple of your forms just to use for demonstration purposes. So now I'm just gonna choose the four more forms that I wanna bring into my loop and hit copy. Once I've copied my documents into my 123 Main Street, um, now, the next step is to fill them out. So I'm just going to open up the residential listing agreement by clicking on the form name. You'll notice as soon as I open the form, uh, it does open up the document, but first it asks if I want to autofill information. So this is the information we put into our details page. And really this screen is just asking if I want to have this autofilled across my forms. I'm just going to click autofill, and then you'll notice it brings me directly into the document. And you can see the different fields highlighted in yellow. Uh, these have been populated for me. We have our $13 million listing with 20% commission. Uh, so now as the agent, I'm just gonna go through and fill out the form the same way I would today. On any blank text boxes, you have the ability to type. You'll notice at the bottom of the first page, it says SS. So anywhere you see an SS, that's just asking where Sally, or showing you where Sally will initial if we share the document with her. You'll also notice that wherever I need to initial as a listing agent, it's already highlighted. So if I wanted to initial this form right now, I could simply click sign now, and it's going to ask me to adopt my signature. So it provides me with a default font style, but I do have the option to draw my signature. And this is great if you're using one, our mobile app or, or if you have a stylus pen, uh, but I'm just gonna keep the default font style. 
Once I click adopt and sign, it automatically puts my initials in there with a time and date stamp. Okay, so same thing with the signatures, wherever Sally needs to sign, it says Sally sign here. And again, wherever I need to sign as the agent, all I have to do is click sign now and it puts my signature in there with a time and date stamp. So now as the listing agent, I've gone through and filled out my, my listing agreement, um, $13 million listing, 20% commission. We need Sally to go ahead and sign off on this. If I wanted to share this document with my seller, all I need to do is click save and share in the upper right hand corner. When I do that, it brings me to a screen that tells me a few different things. One, which form or forms I'm sharing. You'll notice Sally's name is checked off by default because there are six fields assigned to her. I can type a little note in here for Sally, please review and sign, and hit share. When I do that, it lets me know that this document has been shared with Sally and I'm, I'm done. Now, as the agent, if I go back to my loop, I can see that there's now a status associated with this form. It's waiting on others, still waiting on Sally. So we're going to uh, completely switch over now. I am no longer going to be Luke the agent. I'm going to be Sally Seller. So I'm acting as the client. I'm Sally. This is my email. This experience that we're going to walk through will be the same for any client. Okay, so as Sally, I get an email from Luke, my agent, letting me know I need to sign a document. When I click on the email, I can see that Luke signed a document with me. Here's the note that he wrote. Please review and sign. If I scroll down, here's his brokerage information, license number. So now as the client, all I have to do is click on view document and it's going to automatically bring me into the form or forms that I need to sign or initial. So I don't have to create an account or, or anything like that. Um, it will always just bring me into the form or forms. So now I can review this document to make sure everything looks good or I can click start signing and it will automatically push me to the first field or fields that's assigned to me. So as Sally, when I click once, it's gonna ask me to adopt my signature the same way it asked my agent. Again, I have the option to draw as well. I'm okay with the default font style, so I'm just gonna click adopt and sign. When I do that, it automatically pushes me to the next field, but I do wanna show you it puts in my initials with a time and date stamp. Then I'm simply gonna click, and notice I can see my agent's initials with the time and date stamp. Right? All I'm doing now is simply clicking through the document. Same thing with the signatures. I can see that Luke signed it. And last field, once I've gone through all the fields that are assigned to me, it prompts me to click finish. As soon as I do that, I'm done. I get a pop-up letting me know that I'm done. And Luke, my agent, just got an email. So it's that simple for Sally. In addition to uh, signing the document, she also gets an email confirmation that she signed the listing agreement. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna switch back over now. So that was the client experience. So now remember as the agent, we get an email notification, but in this very same loop, I can see that this form is no longer waiting on others. It now says that it's been signed. So if I open up the document, I can see Sally's initials with a time and date stamp, okay? So very quick and easy um, for the client. I do wanna stress the importance of making sure that you attach to the California Association of Realtors, so you have access to those forms. Um, and if you'd like more information, if we have in-depth training and in all kinds of different resources on our landing page, which is right here, um, dotloop.com slash California. So if you'd like to figure out more uh, information, if you're a team, if you're a brokerage, we have a, a solution for you. And also our mobile app, best in class app, um, where you can actually transact right from your, right from your phone. So, Appreciate everyone's time today. I hope that was helpful. And again, go to dotloop.com if you'd like more information. And if there is ever anything, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Hope everyone has a great rest of the day.